Hi ladies, I hope you're doing great. It's Friday afternoon and I just wanted to respond to Yvonne and Mona's um, post around feeling a bit overwhelmed, feeling like you've got so much going on in here and so much to do, so much that you want to do, that you almost just want to press pause on the rest of the world so that it kind of leaves you alone to create your best work and do some magic on behalf of your business. And this is incredible. This is wonderful stuff. However, you don't want it to start making you feel overwhelmed and resentful of the rest of the world. So what I wanted to share with you is a very quick, brilliant coaching technique called the Wheel of Life. It's perfect for getting perspective on all the tasks that you have that are swimming around in your head. And as you leave them swimming around in your head, they kind of grow in... Um, uh, size, magnitude, they expand and increase and become more and more overwhelming. And you'll realize that there is stuff in there actually that you could release or hold off that you don't even need to think about that shouldn't own or occupy any brain space right now. And there might be stuff you can delegate and put off for other people to do. So let's create a wheel for your particular um needs at the moment. So Yvonne, this is going to be kind of based on your post um, because you created a list of the things that, that are swimming around in your head at the moment. But in order to create a wheel of life, the first thing to do is grab a piece of paper and draw a great big circle on it and then quarter that circle and then quarter it again. So you've got eight segments and I have one here. Can you see that? Eight segments. Oh, it's upside down. It doesn't matter. It's a round circle. But you've got eight segments on there. Then the thing to do is to fill out each of those eight segments with the kind of the pressing things that come up time and time again that are on your mind. And just be mindful as well that as you're filling out the eight segments, if there is something that actually um, is one and the same, to make sure you put them in the same segment. So, for example, using Yvonne's post as as the example here, um, she'd written to do her module work and plan her package. So if the module work is for module number three, then that is actually planning your package. So whilst she's written module, complete my module work and plan my package, well, actually, module three and planning the package is one and the same. So they go in one segment of the eight. Then for Yvonne's example, again, she per, she wants to write her mission statement. She wants to read some dyslexia articles. She wants to catch up on the, the videos, the one to one she had with me, plus the group call. She wants to create a new Facebook page and her website, update her old Facebook page, do some niche training. So there's a few different things that Yvonne wants to do. So fill out each of those segments with the different tasks, the different things that you've got swimming up there in your brain. Um, you might have six things that are work related or five or four, doesn't matter. And you might have some things that are related to your personal stuff, your home, writing a bill, sending a letter, making a phone call. So get them on there as well. If they're swimming around in here creating and you've said at least once, oh, I must do, then get it on your wheel of life. So then the next thing to do is just to score each of those tasks on a scale of 0 to 10 on where you're at with that particular task. 10 being really satisfied, happy, it's done, nothing more I need to do on it. Zero being haven't even started it, haven't even picked it up, haven't even looked at it yet. So score each one. So, for example, for the module work and the planning your package, had Yvonne not even opened and downloaded the worksheet, that might be a zero. Had Yvonne um, downloaded and printed and actually just read through the questions very quickly, scanned through and has got some ideas now swimming up there, then perhaps she's going to score it a three. You know, she's downloaded the work, she's 
got the mental um, thought process, juices flowing, cogs turning around coaching package. She just needs, so she would score that a three, okay? So for each one of those things, score it on where you're at on a scale of naught to 10 with that task and its completion. The next thing to do is to decide what you would have to do to up that score by say two notches. So for example, using Yvonne's example of her module work and planning her packages, had she printed off the worksheets and, and, mental, and just quickly scanned them and got the mental answers going on, Perhaps she would, could score it a five if she spared 40 minutes at some point, sat down and answered all the questions and wrote them all down. That would make her feel like she'd gone to a five or a six, perhaps. So do that with each of those different segments. Write down what it is that you could do to notch that up by another two, perhaps three notches on that score from naught to ten. Um, it may be that, for example, Yvonne on her list of things to do has put, think, create her own video and make a new website. It might be that for the current time, they're both scoring at a zero because she hasn't started yet. And it might be that those two things are something that are a bit further ahead. She's thought of them. She knows they need to get done, but actually they don't need to get done imminently. So could those things, now that she's got them out of her brain and onto paper, they're there, she won't forget them, but could they just perhaps be, be moved and delegated for a future week? Not to worry about now. She won't forget that it has to be done because it's written down now, but it's something that she can just release for the time being. Take that those stresses out of her head. Um, so... Look, go around the circle. What one thing could you do to up your score and then go do that thing? Um, because that will begin to help you not only get it out of your head and onto paper, which is a major, major step to clearing out overwhelm, but it'll help you get a bit of perspective on really what is it that needs to be done. And then you can take action because very often the thing that will notch that task from a from a three to a six could just be a half hour sit down. You know, if Yvonne wants to watch those videos again, perhaps it's a case of, well, maybe she could be doing something else whilst the videos are on. She can listen because she was both she was there for both of them. But it might be just that she needs to kind of sit and listen to them while she's doing something else. Don't know, maybe. So that's the wheel of life that helps you get all that stuff out of your head and onto paper and helps you take the next step for each of those tasks. So I hope that helps, ladies. It's Friday afternoon. It's a belter here in Leeds. It's warm. Um, so have a great weekend. Any questions, message me. You know where I am and uh, I will speak to you all again soon. Love you all. Bye for now.